I asked her, I said, baby, did somebody touch you? And she ended up saying it was daddy. Hey, beautiful people, how are you all doing today? It's your Mara David, and thank you all so much for tuning in to another interesting video. I woke up to this video and I decided to share with you all. She's called the New Trophy Wife. Her name is Isis, and she kind of create content around how to find attractive men, how to look good. I went to her TikTok page to really see what she talks about and she kind of portrayed like oh she's a trophy wife and when somebody called themselves a trophy wife meaning that they got a bag they got a good man they got a provider after everything everybody has said about them so she was actually a single mother that got someone that could take care of her god fearing and also provide her 100 like is wealthy enough to take care of her the way she wants and she's kind of advising and teaching other younger girls on how to you know be attractive how to look good so that you can also be in the same position as her but then of recent or a few days ago she posted on her youtube page that her husband has been gripping her two daughters you can go to our YouTube page and check the full video, but again, I'm gonna just post a little video for you all to watch. Let me read this clip for you all to watch, and I'll share my thoughts at the end of the video. Six weeks ago, I was um, changing my daughter, my four-year-old daughter, and um, I noticed that um, when I changed her, she was red and very sensitive. And um, immediately, my first thought was, did someone touch her? Oh, God. Gosh. Um. So, I asked her, I said, baby, did somebody touch you? And she ended up saying it was daddy. I felt like my world ended on that day. <sighs> my husband wasn't home at the time when she told me, but I knew he would be coming home soon, so all I could do was just say, don't tell him that you told me. And I just instantly started trying to think of how I could get my kids out of the house. Because I knew if I confronted him or asked him about it, that he would just lie. And that he would probably just continue to keep doing stuff to her, but just become more covert or more sneaky or, or whatever. As soon as my husband got home, I, he was actually picking up the boys from school, my two older boys from school. As soon as he got home, I told him that I was going to go Halloween shopping with my sister um, because I just needed an excuse to get out of the house with all the kids. And I knew if I said something like, oh, I'm going to the grocery store, that... Um, it would be suspicious, like, why am I bringing all the kids and, like, packing things, like, 
things that we would need and things like that. So going Halloween shopping was the best thing I could think of to just hurry up and get the kids out of the house. I'm sorry, I had to get myself together. Um, so when I got to the hospital, um, they basically told me that we had to go to another hospital because they didn't do physical exams, like that kind of phys physical exam there. Um, so um, a police officer escorted um, the kids and I to another hospital where they were able to evaluate um, my daughters. Um, it ended up coming out that um, he had actually been um, touching both of my daughters, um, who are only two and four years old. It still feels like a dream. Like, um, when, <sighs> when this first happened, I just kept waking up every day and just hoping that this was a dream. Um, because it's literally my worst nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. I myself am a product of R.A.P.E. Um, that's how I came to be. And um, was also, you know, abused as a child uh, by a neighbor's husband. And... Um, I specifically prayed to God that my children would never, ever, ever have to go through this. And I'm just not quite sure how this happened, why this happened. This is really sad and I feel really bad for her because nobody deserved this and this is going to be extremely painful for her because she knows what the, she, she understands the pain already, she understands what our children, our daughters are going through because she was already in that position or she has been in that position while she was young and now our children are going through the same thing and to think that when you see somebody in a way that you don't even expect him to do something like that and then they do something like that that's another level of betrayal i don't think any woman deserves to face this kind of situation no matter what no matter even if she comes on the internet to talk about how to meet a provider and at the end of the day the same provider actually is graping at daughters. I don't think this is a time for women to actually start bashing her because I went to the comment section. I've seen a lot of videos which I'm, we're going to talk about later on today. And people were coming for her and saying that that is why you don't go for providers, da 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 da. But then I would like to talk about the fact that she was bold enough to come and share the story. See, she's not the only woman that these things are happening to. She's not the only woman that got married to a wealthy man. In fact, the fact that she can come out to make that video, knowing that she married someone that is that has money, right? It shows how bold she is and how the fact that she doesn't want to hide this. The fact that somebody has money and you can come out to talk about how they abused you your life is in danger. 
right and i i personally feel like she would not even say everything because she has to be very careful to leave an abusive person to leave a great piece that you're married to and has money is way way difficult because they're I'm sure maybe he will want to take the child away. I don't know. I don't know. He might want to even defend it and all of that because it is not all well the person that they tell or there's proof that they grip people or their PDF files that they actually go to jail or anything. They get away with it because they hire a good lawyer. They can afford to even pay bribes and everything. So they might not even serve the right justice for for AIDS, which is really sad because <clears throat> imagine you seeing the person that you trusted so much and doing something like that to your younger, to your daughters. I don't even want to, I don't want to assume the kind of pain she's going through because this is one of the most painful thing that can ever happen to a woman. And this is one of the reasons why by some women are like, I don't want to have children at all because why should I have a child and I'll still be in a relationship with a man and I'll still be afraid that he can essay my child. And this is the reason why by some women are like, you know what, I don't even want to have girl child at all because bringing girl child to this world, it is very dangerous. It is selfish on my part because nothing goes well for, nothing, like most of the time, women are, been essay if you're not being essayed you're gripped by somebody you trust somebody that was supposed to protect you at your younger age this particular video that she made made me to realize that there are tons of women that might be going through something like this but they cannot open up there are tons of women that are experiencing things like this or things like this that happened to them but then they just shut it off i love the fact that she just took action immediately she did not deny she did not try to doubt the old situation because most women or some women will start doubting the old situation and feeling like okay i don't think my i, I don't want to believe something like this is happening maybe my daughter is not saying the truth and all of that i love the fact that she took action immediately and she did not even try to fight or call and scream and everything she took things in a calm situation because when you're dealing with somebody that, is, that has money that <laughs> like that, they can do anything just to protect their shame or whatever it is. What's your take on this? Have you heard this news? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'm going to share people's reaction later on because a lot of people are talking about this and a lot of people are giving their two cents about this. So let me know your thoughts about this video generally before we talk about what other people are talking about in this video. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.